So the first bit of the safari we went to see was the Grevy's Zebra, followed by probably the common Eland. I can't remember for exactly, but in the following photos you will see the Eland, which is a type of deer, as well as the Zebra. I did get quite a few photos of the Zebras, so hope you don't mind watching them all and got a couple of action shots as well so zebras were running around one thing to say about the day was that it was a really long day and the final picture of a zebra is here we went also round even more deer now I can't remember what these ones were called I think these are possibly water buck I'm not entirely sure if I'm honest but anyway a couple more zebra pictures there few more deer but as you can see I did take a lot of photos I think I ended up with over 200 photos I'm not gonna lie but this was all with my new camera so I hope you like the photos now these I believe were Persian fallow deer because they were slightly smaller there's a couple of close shots in a second or two but I think these were the Persian fallow deer because they were quite small compared to the other ones but again, I could be completely wrong. Now the next pretty gruesome photo is actually a doll. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right at all, but I managed to zoom in close ups on them eating what looked like their dinner. I'm not gonna lie. It does, does put you off a little bit when you can see them eating, but again, it's wildlife and, you know, something happens sometimes. These are the Indian rhinos, I believe, because the armour on them. I'm not entirely sure, but I think those were the Indian rhinos. Next is the Asian buffalo. So those were available for you to see. A few more deer as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure what these ones were. I think these are Axis deer. Yeah, Indian rhinos are the ones that look like they've got the armour. And I think these were the deer, as I said before. I did get a lot of photos again. The next photo, I believe, was a male deer. So I hope you enjoy the photos. This deer looked pregnant because of the big belly. Wasn't entirely sure. The next is the white Bengal tigers. Now, these were just a few from behind the fence. I'm not sure if I managed to get any other close-ups. I think there might be some a bit later on, but I hope you can see some of the tiger photos. Now, this was the cheetah area. So there's a new area in the Westminster Safari Park that holds cheetahs. So these are just a few photos that I believe either me or my brother-in-law took because I passed him the camera a few times to get some snapshots so I'm not sure if these were me or if these were him but anyway we managed to get some cheetah photos so hope you like the cheetah photos as much as I do cheetahs are one of my favourites um, big cats in general are, are like my favourites so I did take a lot now these were the African wild dogs so if you're not aware there is an animal called the African wild dog. They were all asleep, so I had to zoom in quite far. This is where we went off-road on the lion exhibit, where in a few clips time you will see a scary moment, basically. But these were them on the rock, and it reminded me a little bit of the Lion King moment, because they were all like chasing each other, running up the rock, and that kind of thing. But there's an off-road track that we took, and I'm glad we took it because I got so many lovely photos and the next clip you will watch very shortly i hope you like as well because it was a very scary moment and you know it was just one of those things where it probably wouldn't have happened had we not gone on the off-road track so i hope you enjoy Job. i will just film because it might just be easy some of your one liners <laughs> That's so close. The keeper will see it in a minute. Where's he? Where's she gone? <laughs> Can see the teeth marks in its ass. Okay, so again, we're back to lions. Now this was just after that lion had walked past our car. These were just some lions we could take photos of because we were going right past them. 
just to reiterate, there was nothing between us and the lions. So if a car door had become opened, basically we would have been dinner. But we don't need to go into that because obviously it didn't happen and I'm still here today. This is the close-up photo of the lion walking along towards us that you saw. Now we're going to move on to white lions. So white lions are one of my favourites as well. I love lions in general. But the white lion was actually quite amusing because they were doing a lot of things. They were all lying down. I was trying to get a load of arty shots, so there's a lot of arty photos. The next one I quite like because it's the male lion next to a tree. I did take quite a lot of lion photos. I think the next one's pretty good as well. Yeah, the next one's good because directly looking at the camera. This one's not too bad either, but I just took a lot because I like lions and they're cute. Okay, so moving on to what I believe is another rhino. I can't remember the exact type, not entirely sure. A bit more, a few more deer as well. I think these are known as Adax from what I'm looking at right now. And with the ostriches, the funniest thing was winding the window up really fast. That's a tiger face shot that someone took for me. I think it was my brother-in-law. A few more deer. There are a lot of deer photos, so bear with me on that. But the next photos are all my brother-in-law, close-ups of the white tigers. Now the next photo I'm going to guarantee that I love because it's looking directly at the camera and I don't think I could have done it any better. Again, camels. The funny story about camels actually was when we went with my dad and the camel spat in my dad's face and I'm never gonna forget that moment. So, also onto elephants. So we went to see the elephants. They have had a baby elephant since going and I believe one of them is called Sutton because of a boy who passed away to cancer, I think it was, and they named the elephant Sutton after him. I'm not doing anything fast, I'll be a good girl. Look at the baby. Good job. Moving on, we saw giraffe. And then when you actually leave the enclosure bit, you can actually go into the park where you see penguins and sea lions. So the next photos are linked to that. We went to see a sea lion show as well, and I got a few photos in that. So you'll see those in the coming video. Video, I mean photos, sorry. So there's a few sea lion pictures coming up. This is actually the dinosaur bit of the park, so they've added in dinosaurs now. I only got a couple of photos because it was really difficult to get them. Reptile house as well, so I got a few photos in the reptile house, as you'll see in the next few photos. But basically the day out was great. Um, after the reptile house we went to see the lemurs, which you'll see in future photos. And I will put music on to keep you entertained. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all very soon in an upcoming video. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and enjoy the rest of the music.